Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, I'm going to show you and teach you the advantages that you're going to have when you buy a NAS. In this case, it's QNAP, but you can use another brand as, as well. So in, in this case, all the brands that I tested in the past, they work, but uh, QNAP, they have very good support. So in this case, I'm going to show you how you can add the hard drives on, on the NAS, and then you can expand it. So that way you don't have to delete the RAID and then rebuild it again, as as you may know or not, in the in, if you have a regular computer, yeah, usually in the motherboard you don't have that capability that you can add more hard drives and then you can extend everything without doing the format, the wipe and reload or everything. So in this case, if you have a a NAS in, in productions and you don't want to stop of course because you need more space and everyone is making their backups or working on the units and everything else this is the best system for you so I'm going to show you I'm going to change the screen so that way you know how to uh, do this so I'll show you in this case we are going to use the, the IP so as you can see here in this case is 10.0.197 so when you type uh, that you, you know, the same system will add the port in this case is 8080 so once you are there I'm going to close this so that way you will see every every step so as soon as, as soon as you are logging it will request it will request the user and the password so after that you will go here where it says control panel and then here you will have to go where it says storage and snap uh, snapshots so as you can see that is where you have to go you click here in this case i have six hard drives installed already but i just add the added the, the number five and number six as you can see here so the one that I have working is one and two, three and four. So those are working in right five. So in this case, um, I'm going to show you, I have 26 uh, terabytes. So I have four uh, hard drives, like I mentioned before, of 10 terabytes each one. Always, I recommend you to go to the compatibility list before adding any hard drive. You cannot use anything because, I mean, if you use whatever you may encounter some uh, difficulties so in order to avoid that i recommend you to, to to go to their website in case if this is the first time and you don't know what a uh, nas i'm using in this case is th uh, 1635 but it doesn't matter because basically almost all the models are the same and i'm going to show you in, in this case i'm going to, put, uh, to write qnap there we go that is the model so this is what they have so in the future if you have something different it, it will be basically the, the same thing so as, as you can see I have, I have the option to add many and in this case on the top the little one the 2.5 is uh, for cache so that way if I need su super speed you can you can use those so this uh, NAS is between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars so plus the hard drives uh, they might be expensive depending on the uh, capacity that you're going to choose so in this case we are going where it says storage and snapshot as you can see we go here and then we are going to choose the first option where it says storage pool as you can see here and uh, you will go where it says manage after that you will see the hard drives so we go i think it was in manage again yep and uh, we have to click where it says migrate and here we will show you the hard drives that are not being in use so in this case i'm going to select all so it's number five and number six as you can see here apply and it may take a little a little longer so it will take a while so as you can see it says the all the data will be um, delete race in this case I click OK because those uh, the information that's going to be erased is only on the hard drives on the new hard drives so you don't have to worry about the one that you have already you are okay you don't have to worry about it so now as you can see we have 27 point uh, 
26 and it, before when I, I did the migration it, it said that it was going to be like 37 or something like, like that so we will have to wait a little bit until we start doing the synchronization and, and that's it so it will take it it may take a few few hours a few days depending of the of the size of the hard drive as you saw I click here where it says the um, the refresh so now we are going to see the, the migration as you can see I now I have all the the drives here and you will see the migrating status it says that it will start synchronizing and usually the last time I, I have done this it took like two days so uh, I'm not joking so as you can see it's uh, syncing uh, the speed that I'm getting at least with this NAS is 60 as you, as you can see 69 70 50 uh, megabytes so it's not that uh, fast now it's, it's faster because I have more drives but before when I had just two drives it was very slow so maybe that is the, the reason as you can see it's, it says 37 hours before it was like 50 hours so even even though uh, it will take a, a, a little while so you can if you are working on this you can set the, the priority as well so that way if you need more performance on your unit you can do you can change that as well so as you can see if you go where it says manage and then you go here and then in this case as you can see here again a sync a high speed because i want to finish this as soon as possible i don't want to leave it hanging for <laughs> days or weeks so that is very important at least uh, to me so i'm going to show you a little bit this is the unit that i have the network unit and here right now it says 29 terabytes 0.1 so it will increase over time so as as the time passes of course and we we complete all the the process so we will be back in a little in, in few days when it finish and i'll show you the rest of the process okay so the process just finished so I'm going to show you everything how it looks like so that way you can do it yourself so now as we can see we are using RAID 6 I'll try to zoom in so that way you can see it okay RAID 6 so we have I'm going to zoom in again so we have 36 terabytes in total but we are using less than that so I'm going to show you now I'm going to close this so we are going to choose the the other one the one that says volume one that is why you have to choose and then after that we are going to click here where it says manage and then expand volume so once we do that we will see a little bit here we have we have 26 terabytes so you can see we, we are going to expand it to the new drives so in order to do that we are going to click here where it says expand volume and then we are going to click where it says set pool, uh, to pool capacity so as you can see here we have 35 dot 79 so terabytes and the current capacity is 26 so as you can see we are going to click set so now we have the 36 gigabyte that is like 35.79 terabytes so once we have done that we are going to click on apply and we have to wait until it start resizing so it will take a few hours as usual and after that i'm going to show you how everything looks like for instance here we are uh, with my mac and we are accessing the unit and we see now 29.25 so we have to wait until the process finish and we will have the total capacity that i just mentioned before so see you in a little bit as you can see here we just uh, finished so now we have the 35 or almost 36 terabyte and that's it so that is all you have to do in order to expand the the hard drive uh, and if you want to add more uh, 
space i mean more if you want to have more space you can do that as, as well i'm going to show you on my computer so that way you can see what i'm saying okay here we are on my ethernet my network so you can see uh, 38.82 so that is all the space that I have is more than enough at least for my videos and everything so I hope you have enjoyed this class if you have any questions please please leave me a comment in the section below remember to see the playlist if you want to see my other classes about computers and everything else thank you for everything and see you next time